20 million people gonna get evicted, 20 million people behind on their energy bills. Some people in most countries won't even have any energy to use because the path to hell is always paved with amazing intentions. So I get it. I 100% get it. And also, hopefully you are watching this before tomorrow. I think we have four, eight, about eight hours left. Maybe, maybe 14. Something is going to break and I'm going to show you and it's in the charts. But bravo, cue the fire. The market's closed tomorrow. We get a break. Well, not all markets are closed, are they? And pop the confetti. Gavin Newsom just pulled in $106 million must be nice. Now, what you need to understand, it is psychopaths that are running this world. Gavin, I'm not calling you a psychopath, but I'm just explaining to my audience that people with no eh, sense of, oh, I feel bad. And they usually have a lack of empathy. They don't, they don't feel bad. It's shallow. They don't have remorse. That's why they're able to cheat on their spouses. And it's also called psychopathy. It's a part in the brain. It's just, it's missing. But what they do is they're like, I'm going to win this game. So for some reason, money and power in winning is very important. And they will always use the people with empathy for their game, which I had to explain all of that because I have a lot of stories today that I'm going to share with you and you're going to go, oh, that kind of makes sense. Also, it might help you when you're out there dating or you've been dating, you've been cheated on or whatever. And you're like, how are they able to do that? Men, women, and they're you're, you're crying and they're just basically eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That is because they don't feel bad. And you have companies that use people as pawns. See like this, California, uh, Beautiful state. Well, except for the high taxes, the homeless, and the mean people. But if you're a nice person, then I like you. That's okay. You could be you could be from California. If you're nice, we're friends. California uh, Newsom reaped almost $11 million. Well, guess who else made some money? Uh, campaign cash from 979 state vendors who pocketed $6 billion. So these companies here take advantage of people like you, like Bank of America or AT&T. And then they do things like this that can make you very upset because you're like, how is this even right? Bank of America just launched zero down. Hey guys, you wanna buy a house with no money down? We've actually seen this before. Didn't play out well, did it? Well, not just that kids, you don't have to put any money down and we won't even look at your credit. And I know a lot of people are like, that's not fair. How could they do that? I hate Bank of America. I'm going to take all of my money out of the, your bank account and show them that you mean what you say. But trust me when I say this, someone is making money. They're always making money. Take advantage of people, crash the system, make it much cheaper to buy home. Yeah, you think much cheaper? How about uh, it's free? You know, a lot of people are making money off of this, not just the people that are gonna lose their money. Putting together a down payment can be a huge hurdle. Yes, it should be. If I'm gonna loan you, a, a million dollars, it better be a hurdle. <laughs> Bank of America aims at uh, launching mortgage that doesn't require any upfront payment or, hey, you don't even need credit. Oh, you have no credit? Well, come on in. But here we go, Bank of America, brace for recession shock. Oh, and, and here, here's some free homes. You, no, nothing, as outflows rock equities. Oh, I'll show you, you haven't seen an outflow yet. Bank of America says global stocks and this is a global, this is not, oh, it's just right here in America. This is starts in China, comes over here to America. Stocks see fourth biggest weekly outflows of 2022. And like I said before, when everyone's like, Bravo, you're wrong. And I said, this is a, this is a classic bounce, what you're seeing in the markets. So known as a dead cat bounce, but I don't even think they even bounce. Have you even like... Uh, that doesn't make any sense. We'll have to say the heat, the cats, you know, like how to skin one, how to bounce one. Eh, that's not nice. Maybe that's why the media has given them nine lives so we can bounce them and skin them. Global stocks, the fourth and outlook for US stocks turning less bleak, B of A indicators say. And I say my indicators tell me the same thing. We're gonna have another bounce. Also known as a bear market bounce that pulls all the retail idiots back in. People that say things like dollar cost average and uh, diamond hands and hodl. Which one of you guys just left a comment in the comment section? Please, I read every single one of them. I give you little hearts, tells you I love you. And I do hear what you say, and I do take it to heart because I am not a psychopath. I actually do feel bad all the time. Also, in regards to bounces and where we're going, I'm going to come back to this one. This is Bitcoin. 
See? See, that looks like an intestine that's squeezing. Well, we're going to pop out a baby. Also, yesterday on copper, I forgot to do one thing. I said it's going to go. See, copper follows the economy. The economy is bad. Okay, you see that? See how it's, it's going down? That's a descending, broadening wedge. But that's actually bullish. Uh, see, it's going to get really bad. And then it's going to go all-time highs, the economy. I don't know what's... I'm just telling you that that's what, see that price target up there? That's actually the price target for copper. And also, let me help you out with this. So now you see the economy. Here's copper. Uh, this on a chart, if we were to pull back, where do we pull back? Uh, to 2012. So we're going way back. Let, let me just show you how charts always predict the future. And right now we're like, oh my gosh, it's going to get bad. We just came from it's great to it's going to get bad and then it's going to get great again. How long it takes, oh, this is going to take a long time. So this is on the monthly, but let me just show you. So on copper, you had a double bottom. See this right here? Bottom, bottom. Uh, top, you measure from top to bottom. You draw it here. I'll draw since I have this one up. I'm going to draw here. I'm going to draw here. No, I'm not going to draw there. I'm going to do it again. One more time. I'm going to draw there. Okay. See that? And then I my measured move, which it's almost, watch watch how charts work. This is actually moderately easy. It's it if you know how to do it. So you, you take that line, right? That's a that's a double bottom. And it's gonna tell you that the top is going to be right there. Ta-da! But now, wait, it gets better. Now you have a double top. What's a double top? A double top is a bearish formation. You wanna know where the price target is for that? Ta-da, right there, <laughs> right? It, patterns repeat. So please, in the comments section, when it comes to Tuesday or Wednesday, you said copper was gonna go to the moon. Guys, this is on the monthly, so look. Now, I'm going to pull up when should you buy for all of you dollar cost averaging uh, people. See the green bar? That means you're, you're getting it at an all-time low, um, but not low enough yet. This is not financial advice, but I would start probably dollar cost averaging in this zone. You see, you want to buy when it's cheap, sell when it's expensive. That's if you were a dollar cost averaging kind of a person that things that actually don't go poof, bankrupt, gone. And so now I must show you Bitcoin. Bitcoin will never go poof, gone, but it could go a hell of a lot lower. How low? $3,800. Yes, I know I've been saying that for a year when it was at almost 70,000 and people throw rocks. That's okay. I just look at the charts. I tell you it's a speculative asset. I love it, I trade it. And if you're thinking about dollar cost averaging, wait till the green bars. Also, link in the description for all of my courses, Memorial Day weekend sale. Also, you got a 50-50 shot on this one. I'm sorry, I know you're like, I wanna know exactly where it's going. Am I carrying this, right? Am I carrying this this way? Or am I carrying it that way? Well, I'm telling you, the the we had a, you had a cross right there. See the little green on the Mac? Uh, that's the Mac D. That's, that's bullish, okay? RSI, you're still below the 50, and I don't see any negative divergences here. So it's doing what it needs to do. Also, if you are new to all these lines, start with my swing trading. I'm showing you on cow. Just met with, I'm, I'm in Texas. So these guys, oh, I, have a, I have a trillion cows. They're all run. How's the process of the cow? I'm like, yeah, it looks good. I take out my foldable fold and I'm like, look, see, he's like, I don't know those lines. Also, I have a Bravo's daily watch list where I look for stocks like this. This isn't the right setup just yet, but look, look at cow. You can either buy them, right? Or you can trade them. Look, see the yellow line I just did? See the blue line? Uh, the, 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 the blue line that's going across. This one, 200 day moving average. Hey, congratulations. See, you had a head and shoulders here, played out. You had a double bottom here. Like all these things you, I just see with my eyes. You have a MACD right here. How's cow, uh, where are you on the 50? Looks like, okay, you're, uh, we'll see on that one. Uh, and then we just need some time, but Hey, it's swing tradable. Now, this is not financial advice. Don't you go, you, you go run out there and buy real cows. Maybe even corn. Yeah, different corn, right? This is real corn. Uh, this is probably not, not a good sign. Well, except you are above the 200, but do you see that little head and shoulder playing out? Ah, see, now you're seeing things. You're like, I'm getting it. I help you. So it's not just about news and, oh, it's all going to be bad. No, we just, you, you look at, here's economy. Economy bad. Economy going to get worse. So be ready for it. Have your businesses. Why would I ever want to start a business in a recession? I do. A, a, a tsunami of shutoffs. 20 million U.S. homes are behind on energy bills. Poof. Well, I'm sure you wouldn't be if you had a zero down mortgage there, Jimmy. Actually, here's a, a common question. What do you think? Everyone with no money down, no credit, no nothing, free houses, and they can't pay their bills. You know how easy it is to just walk away? 
Exactly. But they did the same thing back in the Clintonian era. And we're all just going, oh my gosh, this is not going to end well. And usually it ends like this, right? Everyone has these mortgage loans. Uh, here we go. I mean, history doesn't always repeat, but damn, it gets pretty close to rhyming like a rap song. And then after everyone starts, oh, I can't afford to pay my bills. The stock market's down. I don't feel rich anymore. Oh my goodness. They got Jerome. Jerome, fix this. U.S. mortgage lenders, oops, uh, this isn't good, are starting to go bad. You don't know what they're doing. Here, I'll resize it for you so we know. It's, they're not actually sheep. They're going bankrupt. Let's read this line again, class. U.S. mortgage lenders are going bankrupt. And how this one factor, oh, what is that factor, Jimmy? Could be triggering the worst surge of failures since 2008. Well, for the last, uh, I'd say six to eight months, I have been saying the charts predicted this. And I have a watch list above my head. The green ones, I think those are my housing. Those are my housing stocks. So I know, oh look, lumber. That's what it takes to build a home. You had a double top back there. Ah, Bravo called it. And I don't mean to call it. I just give you probabilities and my the probabilities, not my probabilities. I just follow the charts. What I'm assuming is this is, I'm just guessing. That's a 200 day moving average. What happened is the stonk went up, uh, came down. This is what happens. You go up, okay, all time highs. You retest the 200, you come back up. You can't get higher, can you? So that's not good. That means you're going lower. And then it comes down here, retest. I don't even know. I don't even have the 200 day moving average up. I'm just guessing. And then right about in March, April of this year, see that? I'm like, Housing market is finished. And you're like, no, Bravo, you don't know. I just listed my house, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, the charts are telling. And let's just see, let's let's play it. Uh, see how close I got. Uh, one second, please, while the computer is loading. Uh, what is this, on the daily? Yes, okay. Let me pull this back. How well did I do? Did I do okay? Let me get rid of that. We don't need that. Uh, I don't even need a RSI. Here we go. Ta-da. Was I close? Did I get did I get pretty close on this? I, I think maybe I did. There it is, April, April 21st. I said, that's it. You fell right in May underneath the 200 day moving average. Bye bye housing market. Let me help you with some other ones. You know, you, you fill your house with this one. This is restoration hardware. That was actually back there. This is, this was last, uh, the, the end of, yeah. That was November of last year. It's gone. Uh, let's see, we got lumber. We have the, uh, HGX, this is the Philly housing sector. This, I was January, that's when I started saying, hey, your housing market, uh, here we go. We come down, you see, head and shoulders, where's that gonna play? Probably played out exactly where it's at right now. Uh, DRV, here's another one. Uh, this is, well, that's bear three times. Don't look at that one. Zillow, hey, how's Zillow doing? Yep, there's your housing market. It predicted it uh, last year, the end of last year. XHB, here's an, another ETF, predicted it uh, at the beginning of 2022, couldn't get up there. Uh, IYR, uh, this is real estate ETF, here you go, once again. And any way you slice it, dice it, or chew on it, and here's another, head and shoulder. All these patterns, double bottom. You just, you just this, you, you right click, uh, buy. Or when it goes up here and you know what's happening, you you right click sell, which means you're shorting it. And if you have a, uh, if, if you're trading on a pad like this, you do nothing. You just, you push really hard. Sometimes these stories take time to play out. Oh, hey, look, one in five home sellers are now dropping their asking price. D wasn't this a totally different tune like four months ago? I mean, three months ago, you're like, no, bravo. You don't know what the... H-E double hockey sticks you're talking about. I, well, that's because I just follow charts, just probabilities. And retail is always in the moment. Now, if you've been following, right? You click subscribe. If you've been following or check to see if you've been unsubscribed. A lot of people get unsubscribed. If you've been following for long enough, you knew when you, when you first jumped on my channel, you're like, this guy's an idiot. And then you're like, wow, this clown kind of knows what he's talking about. But at first you're like, no, it's opposite. I'm, I'm like contrarian. And then you, if you hang around with me long enough, all those other YouTubers, uh, they didn't get it right. Because let me tell you this, if they are not putting up charts on the screen, they don't know what they're talking about. Just like lemmings, they're like the lemmings director. Okay, everyone off the cliff over this way. Yep, you son, head over that way. And 
What are you doing with that parachute? You don't, you won't need that. Yes, my boss, I got it from Bravo. What's your name, son? My name's Skylar, I got this. You actually sound like Mickey Mouse there. Mortgage demand falls even further with the lemmings off the cliff as rates shoot back up to July's high. And how long until this all stops? Well, I've showed you in the charts when it's gonna stop. It's gonna stop up there, that orange thing. Just click on it, come over to my house. Click on it, uh, make sure you're probably not on the daily. So just, just to let you guys know, isn't this the weirdest thing how we can just predict this all together? This is so beautiful. Uh, let me click on this and then let me click on Fed funds rate that no one can ever find. Uh, that's okay. When the orange line, okay, when the orange line uh, crosses that blue line that's up there. Oh, and congratulations to the bond market putting in, you can look at that, right? Rising wedge, maybe. It's gonna break. Just You just gotta give it time, just like it always does. Uh, no head and shoulders yet, but playing out, see, right there. And that's why the Fed always looks like, hey, we're in charge. You're in charge of nothing, zero. Everyone makes uh, Jerome out to be God. He is not, even though they give him the high chair. Uh, I say he's a child in a high chair. Just like that, ta-da, I, I put it all up there for you. So you just wait. It all ends when this orange line crosses that blue line. Something tells me that they don't teach you this on the local news, do they? Because everyone clicks off, oh, what the hell is this? And that is why you would never see me on local news. <laughs> People would be like, who is this guy? Who's this clown? So take advantage of my Labor Day sale. Yeah. So whether you're in labor, uh, pop out on a baby, uh, uh, you worked in the military. I know that's Memorial Day. Or you work normally. Uh, take advantage of how to actually start businesses so you don't have to work for someone else your whole life. And I will see you tomorrow because I work every day of my life.